Hallelujah. Demons will flee tonight. Gates will be open tonight. Men will change state in the spirit. That's what God told me. Men will change state. The Bible says Saul left and he came back as another man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. 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 I don't want you to ever trivialize what God is doing in this place. There is a heavy unction. A heavy unction of the spirit in this place tonight. There is a very heavy unction. The worship team tore this atmosphere open as they led us in worship. I know I won't go back the same. I am convinced no man will stop me. Not this pulpit, not this suit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right from a great distance before I came, I began to see angelic activities and I knew that tonight was a special night. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tonight, we are going to be exalting the name of Jesus. And he will do glorious things in this place. Listen to me. Archbishop Benson Idahosa of Blessed Memory said, If your faith says yes, God will not say no. Are you hearing me? If your faith says yes, I want that cancer out of my life. Yes, I want HIV to go. Yes, I want that injury to dry up. Yes, I want that terminal disease to go. Yes, that limitation in my family to go. God will not say no tonight. Are there some things you know you will never see in your life again from this night? I gave us an instruction. I said you should write five things. I don't just say things anyhow. If you've not done that, find a paper and do it now. Five things that God will move upon radically for your life and for your family. Hallelujah. See, listen to me. Please look up. I just want to guide us briefly and then we'll begin to move in the anointing of the spirit. Hallelujah. There are three things that you must know tonight. Keep standing, please. I'll soon ask us to sit down. Number one, I want you to know that miracles are not magic. Are you listening to me? Miracles are not what? Magic. It's the definite, it's the superimposition of the power of the Holy Spirit upon a man's situation. If God cannot change a man's story, then he is not God. There is no reason why God should touch one person and not touch the other. The fact that he touched one person is a sign that his presence is in the room. Are you listening to me? As, as words are released from this place, I'd like you to catch it in your spirit. If you are sick in your body, the moment declarations are made, begin to check yourself. Now is not the time to be a spectator. Hallelujah. Because tonight is the time when God will set men free. And God will set families. Don't leave your family behind. You can still send a text to them while you are here. And tell them, send your prayer request. God is doing something this night. 
It's not too late. It's not too late. Send them a text. We are not just joking. Hallelujah. Jesus is in this place. I want to thank everyone inside and outside. Those of you standing outside, I see you from here. For as far as my eyes can see, the Lord will visit you this night. In the name of Jesus. I want you to know that the Lord put together these miracle services. It's not a ritual. Are you listening to me? It's not a ritual. It's an act of his love. It's a demonstration of his power. To give us an opportunity to experience the power of the Holy Ghost at work in the life of his people. And if you get angry in your spirit and refuse, the Bible says resist the devil and he will flee. I trust that at the end of tonight's meeting, many of you will be smiling home because you will know that finally, 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 the presence of God has set you free. In the name of Jesus. Be seated very quickly. God bless you. Acts chapter 3. Acts chapter 3. I want to welcome as many people who have come from different parts of this nation. Hallelujah. You have not come to see a man. You have come to meet the Almighty. And I assure you, you will not be disappointed in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Lord, we thank you for what you're doing in our midst. Tonight, glorify Jesus once again. Acts chapter 3. Please, if you've not written your prayer requests, can you write it quickly? If you need to copy down some from your text message, maybe for your family members, do that quickly. Ushers, if it's possible to just help one or two people who are in need of something to write, or you can help someone by your side, please. Let's do that very quickly because we are going to collect them now. Hallelujah. Do it quickly because we'll collect it shortly. Acts chapter 3, verse 12. And when Peter saw it, he answered the people, Ye men of Israel, why marvel ye at this? Or why look ye so earnestly on us, as though by our own power or holiness we had made this man walk? 13. The God of Abraham, and of Isaac, and of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his son Jesus, whom ye delivered up and denied in the presence of Pilate. And when he was determined and he was determined to let him go. 14. But he denied the Holy One and the just. And desired a murderer to be granted unto you. 15. And killed the prince of life. Whom God hath raised from the dead. Of which we are witnesses. Can we read 16 together? One to read. And his name. True faith in his name. Hath made this man strong. Whom ye see and know. Yea. The faith which is by him had given this man perfect soundness in the presence of ye all. The Bible says, through faith in his name. Faith in the name of Jesus Christ. I'd like you to know tonight that miracles happen because of the power that is in the name of Jesus. Say amen. amen. The name of Jesus is powerful. The name of Jesus is not just a pronunciation. 
J-E-S-U-S. -S. The name of Jesus is an office in the realm of the spirit. Vested with all the authority that can be in God. Hallelujah. He said, in my name, in my name, ye shall cast out devils. Not by wearing suit. Not by speaking good English. In my name, they shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. And if you drink any deadly thing, it will not hurt you. Jesus gave us a ministry. And he sent us. The Bible says when he resurrected, he said, All hail, all authority in heaven and in the earth have been given unto me. He said, Go therefore. I send you with my name. When he sent the 70, the Bible says they came back rejoicing and they said even the devils, demons, were subject to us only through thy name. Hallelujah. The name of Jesus is powerful. Are you listening to me? The Bible says in Philippians chapter 2 from verse 5, it said, let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus. He said, although he was God, he did not consider it to be robbery, but he humbled himself. Became a man. He died even the death on the cross. He said, wherefore, God had so highly exalted him and he gave him an identity, an office, and there was a decree in the heavens. He said, everywhere that name is mentioned, let every knee bow of things in the heavens, of things in the earth, and of things under the earth. And that every tongue will confess. Let me tell you, every oppression has a name. Every sickness, every challenge has a name. And tonight, they will bow to this majestic name of Jesus. The name of Jesus invokes the fullness of the power of heaven. It brings the power of heaven to the scene. When the name of Jesus is released with faith, there's nothing, there's no power in existence that can stop that name. Hallelujah. There is no power. A man had been lying by the gate beautiful. And the Bible tells us that when it was the hour of prayer, having been commissioned to walk in his name, in his office, in his authority. The Bible says Peter and John went to pray at the hour of prayer. Suddenly they saw this man. And the man began to beg for arms. And Peter said, look on us. And the Bible says he looked excited, expecting that they'll just give him money. God wants to do more than you came here for. Because the man just wanted money, but God wanted to make him whole. Hallelujah. And Peter said, silver and gold have I known. He said, but such as I have, it has been given to me. He said, in the name of the Lord Jesus, rise up and walk. And the man stood there and was just looking at them. Didn't get up, didn't walk. And the Bible says Peter reached his hand and grabbed him. And lifting him, the Bible says he leaping stood. Tonight, what is that mountain before you? Tonight, what is that challenge before you? The Bible lets us know that a name has been given unto him. He said, in my name, they shall cast out devils. Tonight we represent a government and we represent an office given by heaven with the backing of his majesty. And on account of that, the Lord will be terminating all kinds of things in this place. Years of struggle and delay will vanish overnight. Believe this. Believe this. The Bible says they had the word just like we did. But the word did not profit them not being mixed with faith. Tonight God will change your story. I assure you he will do it. It is within his power. He said if thou be willing you can make me clean. He said I am willing. 
be thou clean. So what is it that you came here with? What challenge? Some of you came here with HIV viruses in your body that have defied medical attention. Some of you came here with terminal disease. It's a matter of life and death except God intervenes. Some of you came here with all kinds of heterogeneous oppressions of the devil. Heterogeneous. Some of you came here because you are tired and you need some answers to your life. You're saying, Lord, it can't be like this. I love the song that the worship team minister, it, oh, it tore my spirit open. For how long will your family members continue to lament as if there is no God in Israel? For how long will you continue praying and fasting and begging? He said, thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion for the set time to favor her, the time to favor her. Yea, the set time. Tonight can be your set time if you are interested in what I'm saying. Hallelujah. That you say, Lord, turn me into another man. This captivity in my life, change it. Change my story. One joblessness to another. Joining the rat race of struggling people in Nigeria. Today you can make up your mind and say, Lord, I contact power in the heavens. All kinds of oppressions by demonic strongholds. It can go. Mental bondage. Mental blockage. You can be set free from it tonight. Marital delays. Marital delays. It can go. Tonight you will see how helpless Satan is at the name of Jesus Christ. I assure you. Hallelujah. Sickness in your body. Every kind of discomfort. Confusion in your life. Some of you are weary. You came here as a last resort. You just said, God, I'm tired. And I pray that you will find rest tonight. In the name of Jesus. Many of you traveled from far and near. I'm aware that there are people who came from as far as Yola. And other parts of this country. I can only imagine what these people were saying in the car. Say, Lord, I'm coming to Zaria to meet with you. God is everywhere, but his manifest presence to demonstrate the sovereignty of Christ is not everywhere. Hallelujah. Tonight, I'd like you to look at your prayer request for one minute. Pick it up and look at it. If you brought it, Look at it. Look at it. Get angry about it. I didn't say laugh at it. Look at it. Look at the things you wrote with your own hands. Do you believe God is able to do it? Some of you is building projects. Some of you is to change your genotype, your blood group. Some of you is to terminate the works of darkness. Some of you, there, there are rows of your family members who have not married. The youngest person in your family is 30 years old. No man is coming to ask their hand in marriage. Don't say it does not matter. Because that's your cry in the secret place and you wrote it. Hallelujah. There are many of you, your parents have been on projects for years. Donkey years. Hallelujah. Some of you are struggling, students. Even in this exam right now, there are some people who are already crying and lamenting. There are some of you final year students who are here. You know if God does not help you, you are in for a shock. But I have good news for you. Jesus is in this place tonight. He's not here to watch you beg and roll on the floor it is his good pleasure to give you the kingdom listen number one 
You must believe that God wants you blessed and he wants you out. You must look. That's why I say you should look at the prayer, the prayer points. You must believe. If you do not believe that God wants these things out of your life or wants to bring these things into your life, then there's no point listening to me. Because the Bible says, for without faith, it is impossible to please God. For whoever must come unto him must believe that he exists and that he's the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Who is there like you? Oh Lord, you who created us. In your likeness, who is the like oh, oh Lord, it's an honor, Lord, to stand and worship you. So I lift my hands to the great I am. Was and who is and is to come and is to come. Lift the hands. I lift my hands to the great to I the great am. I am. Who can compare? Who can compare with you? Jesus, nobody, nothing can stand your presence. I don't care what medical report you are holding in this place tonight. I don't care what medical report you brought. SS, AS, hallelujah. I don't care what HIV, cancer, tumor, arthritis, name it. I don't care what else is in your prayer requests. If God is alive, he will do wonders tonight. I know this. Cabiosio, 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 Cabiosio. There's nothing that defies the power of the living God. the nation of Israel stood and the Red Sea was before them. Egyptians were coming with anger to take them back to where they were. What's that worship song again? You could sing that song again. I've forgotten. Who is talking? What are you saying? Eh? Wait. Uh -huh. Before your presence came and changed me I was singing it boldly, boy. Sing it again. I won't go back. I won't go back. Hold on. From where? You left Egypt peacefully. And, and Pharaoh said, I won't let them go. Do you know? Listen. Listen. Do you know that the fact that God wants to release you does not mean Satan is ready to let you go? It takes power. The Bible says when Moses came and told Pharaoh, he said, Mr. Man, God has sent me. And Pharaoh laughed. He said, which God? There are many. Which one are you talking about? Hallelujah. And he threw his rod. And Pharaoh brought his wise men. They threw their rods too. Tonight there are demons positioned. There are devils positioned. They've been planning since beginning of this month that you won't go. He takes force. He said, through the greatness. He said, how awesome are your ways, O Lord. Through the greatness of thy power will thy enemies submit themselves. Not through grammar. Through the, it takes power. Authority is useless without power. A police officer can stop a car and the truck will come and kill him and say, you are wasting my time. Get out of the way. That's a powerless authority. But when you have authority, 
that there are angels standing to supervise that this word comes to pass you are not alone in this place I won't go back you left Egypt on your way to your prophetic destiny now Pharaoh begins to ride upon that horse mimicking Christ who rides upon his horse also the Bible says there was a Red Sea and the nation of Israel began to murmur and Moses went to God. He said, stand still. Exodus 14, 14. Fear not, be still. He said, for these Egyptians that you see, have the privilege of looking at them at, for the last time. That's why I told you, look at your report. Because he says, these Egyptians you see, you will never, never. And it became true in the Bible because they didn't see those Egyptians again. God open the ground for them. Whatever God needs to do tonight, if the ground needs to open, if the ground needs to fill, if a boat to, is to come and carry you to your place, whatever needs to be done is within the power of God. But I know, he said, I will sing unto the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously. The horses and its riders have been thrown, swallowed permanently. You know why they, if they bury a man in water, that's the worst form of death. There's no hope of seeing you. That's why they bury Bin Laden that way. Someone can dig the grave to wipe your memory from the face of the earth. You won't go back. What again? Back to the way it used to be before your presence came and changed me. That's what is happening to you refuse to go back say lord that habit been struggling with masturbation been struggling with pornography i've prayed i've fasted i've done night vigils tonight tonight i contend against those powers once and for all hallelujah it keeps working for others until it gets to your turn hallelujah there are families like that doors keep opening for every other person until it comes to the point of your father or your mother tonight god will visit families oh god will visit families you notice the last three or so miracle services we've been concentrating on families god wants to step in and do miracles in families everything you lay your hands on doesn't work everything you lay your hands you own the shop you eat everything there by yourself because there's nobody to come and buy it someone opens another shop before you and you're watching listen life is spiritual if you are yet to know that know it today say after me life is spiritual aha uh -huh. things don't just happen like that you orchestrate things to happen to job he spoke he said have thou commanded thy money thou commanded thy morning it takes authority i'm saying this so that when when the time comes to minister you tell this you tell the devil pack your load and disappear from my life once and for all once and what for all not once and come back later once and for all because there are many people who have received some of the miracles you are writing here before and it came back you see let me tell you something the degree of your anger tonight say it must go once and wrong your mother or your sister struggled with barrenness and then they took in you even get testimony and you are laughing later they said there was a miscarriage come on it will go tonight once and for all for the Bible says God opened the womb of Rachel. God opened the womb of Hannah. It's God that opens wombs. Oh, it's not medical paracetamol or so on and so forth. God opens wombs. If God opens it, no devil in existence can shut it. Hallelujah. 
There are some of you, they've prophesied to you. Even some of your lecturers have spoken to you. They call you the dullest student in the class. They say you are good for nothing. You patch Wayek here, three credits. You added another one. Later, you beg with the third one. They say they don't accept. They just allowed you. But let me tell you something. There is an unction that will come upon you tonight. It will change your story. The Bible says they looked at Saul and they say, Is Saul also a prophet? Hallelujah. Terminal disease of all sorts. That's why I said heterogeneous manifestations of evil. Don't you ever tell me God is responsible for what happened to you. Are you listening to me? He said the enemy has done this. And so you must rise up and say, Lord, my mother was oppressed from her office. They kicked her out because of her innocence. If you are God, tonight we settle the issue of her job. Tonight we settle every issue. There are some lecturers that were withdrawn from ABU. If you know any of them or any of them is your father, tonight is the night you get angry and say, Lord, it is over. Am I making sense to someone here? This is the session. You tell yourself you're going to come in with a CGPA that if men here, they will ask you and say, from whence comment this? <laughs> Hallelujah. Tonight, we will open doors that have been closed. Hallelujah. And doors that Satan opened by himself will close both him and the door and close them out forever. Both him and the door. It's only when you are seeing a visitor that he can harass you. When you close him and the door he goes out forever. Hallelujah. Oppressions of the devil. Tonight is the night when you say, Lord, I will step up. Everybody is announcing, say, God is blessing. Jake is announcing and say, God is opening doors. I'm sure that there are some families who are here seated. They are even doubting and say, God, will you really do this this night? Some of you invited your family members. Some of you outside while you're listening. Some people are even doubting and say, will God really change my story? Because one prophet or one apostle spoke like this oh, some months ago. You watch what God will do tonight. For you won't go back. You can't go back. To the way it used to be Before your presence came and changed me There is a name that has been given unto us The name of the Lord Jesus Christ The exalted son of the living God Greater than every herbalist Greater than every sickness in your body Greater than every medical condition. I like you. See, tonight is the night you will stamp medical reports and say, I stamp you. Tonight is the time for your genotype to change. It's the time for the anointing of the Spirit to walk in your life. Why is it not you? Why not? See, listen. Listen, there are some of you that like receiving for others. You have trained your faith to receive for others. So when the word is coming like this, you just exempt yourself. Why not you? Ask your neighbor, say, why not you? Say it, why not you? What is wrong with God prospering you? What is wrong with God changing your story? Is it a sin if your family celebrates a new car? Must they die like that? They already love God. Is it a crime for God to bless your family? I'm speaking to someone here. Is it a crime that they dedicate a house and stop being harassed by landlords? Is it that God cannot do it? If a rich man promises you now, you will start dancing. But God is here giving you an open check tonight. Some of our parents have been working for 14 years, 15 years, because they will not compromise, they have refused to promote them. 
and it's telling on many of you your parents are already becoming hostile to everyone at home tonight we have come to change these things some of you have received all kinds of devilish prophecies over your life they've said you will not amount to anything but i have a shock for satan tonight you know when you have a present you first bring it out you don't know what is inside but you know there's a present he will make a table before you in the presence of your enemies like Haman, they are the ones who will orchestrate your victory as you ride upon that horse. See, in case you don't know, if you are a visitor here, let me tell you a few things. We deal ruthlessly with Satan in this place. Are you listening to me? Because we identify him to be the source of men's failure and predicaments in life. He said the enemy the bible calls him a thief anything that a thief has is not his own where did he get it from answer me where did he get it from from who the owner the bible calls him a thief he has stolen the joy of some people and some families there are many of you now your families are at the verge of divorce your father has not spoken to your mother for years because one woman in the village said all kinds of rubbish tonight some of you your loved ones have been missing you even thought they are dead they will come back oh yes he shouted the voice of lazarus and in hell lazarus had it your own they've not gone to hell yet they will hear this night tonight every stubborn spirit that exists on the earth that is at work in everyone will be released tonight because when we did the teaching about destiny help us do you know that there are human beings that have the art of allowing themselves to host demons and cause catastrophe for others oh in case you don't know know it now when jesus was born he suddenly find, found out that they were looking for him to kill him. Questions are, who did he offend? Oh, don't offend me. Don't offend you. <clears throat> Paul and said, this, the earth is a battleground, not a playing a, a football field. That my change will come tonight. That my change will come tonight. I won't give up, Lord, I won't give up, I'll keep pressing on, till my answer comes, if there is such an anointing, I won't give up, Higher. Lord, I won't give up, I'll keep pressing on. Those of you who have been marked by the spirit of death who will cause it out of your life are you listening to me one more time look at your prayer request for the very last time and i mean business ushers please get set because we'll collect the prayer requests so that when we start we don't need to be interrupted speak to it Tell it goodbye forever. I've waited for this time. Pack your load out of my life. Uh -huh. You are not reciting a poem. You are prophesying. It says, son of man, prophesy. Son of man, prophesy. Look at it for the last time. And say, Jesus, I believe in you. You are greater than this report. You are greater than this challenge. Tonight it will answer to your name. If it doesn't respect me, it will respect the name of Jesus. Now begin to pray in tongues as you pass that prayer request to the last person at the aisle. Outside, do it quickly. Just pass it to the last person at the aisle. Ushers, direct them, please. Quickly. Shata rabala kata branda kalabosa. Rembrete gete kat shapras telakata. Shara bakata balaraba. 
This is the confidence that I have in you whenever I call you will answer This is the confidence that I have in you whenever I call you This is my confidence, Lord. This is my confidence that I have in you. Whenever I go, you will answer me. This is the confidence. I like you to pray for your loved ones. Say, Lord, from here, let this unction lead to their homes. Make sure you are praying. Call them by name. Call them by name. They are not as anointed as you are. Standing for them. Call them by name. Call them by name. Say, Lord, for my sister. Call them by name. Your name must answer to them. Kata balata, rata barikata, leke borosotaya. Call them by name. Say, I release an unction to my home. I release angels. Lord, as you are doing it here, do it there. As for me and my house, and my house. Pray for them. Lagos, Abuja, Maiduguri, Bauchi State, Yobe, Zamfara, Koki, wherever. Do a miracle, oh God. Do a miracle, oh God. I know you will do it. I know you will do it. Raise the dead. Change their status. Hallelujah. Now, Hallelujah. There's someone that had been on my mind. Even while I was traveling back today, I was thinking about the person. He came all the way from, I think, Yobe, Saleh. Where is he? Please come. The Lord will begin with you tonight. ushers position yourself inside and outside because there will be a rain in this place hallelujah listen you will be set free where did you come from please technical can you help us where did you come from Bauchi State. Okay, from Bauchi. Yes. I want you to know that God will do a miracle in your life. Amen. You believe that? Yes, I believe. You came full of faith. Yes. The Lord will set you free right now. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. That devil. Come out of him right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, just breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. I set you free right now. 
and the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Now, listen. Listen. Please. I want to see those who have heart conditions. You came here. Hear me outside, please. We don't have time to waste. We are not going to have to mention cases individually. But when, when we call your case, please run out. We are going to pray and see as far as God wants to finish fast so that we'll end quickly. Heart conditions. Leave your seat and come out here quickly. Either a hole in the heart or an abnormal heart formation. Quickly, quickly. Appreciate them as they line up here. Ushers coordinate them. Heart conditions. Please, come and line up here quickly. That devil is a liar. Heart condition. Growing up, they told you you have a heart condition. Come out and line up here. Come out and line up here. No matter how old you are or how young you are. Please line up. Line up. Straight line. Line up. Usher, direct them. Help them. Hallelujah. As you're standing here, I'd like you to wait by bye to it. Because I know the unction of the spirit is here. God will set you free. Baba, God will set you free, sir. And everyone. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, sirs, we'll minister quickly. We'll just minister to them. Hallelujah. Praise God. I tell you, there is an unusual unction in this place. As hands are laid on you. Hallelujah. Return back thanking the Lord and check if you are still seated in the crowd and you know you have a heart condition. Don't sit back there. God wants to change your story. Hallelujah. There's someone who has an unusual palpitation. I don't know what it is. You, the way you, the way you breathe. Sometimes it's literally holding you and choking you. You are the one. Look at me. Because it's a devil of darkness. Your own is not just sickness. Look at me. In the name of Jesus. I command that devil of darkness. Let her go. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let her go. 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 You are a devil of darkness. Come out. Come out. Come out of her now. Come out of her now. In the name of Jesus. Out of her. Come. My sister, you too. Come. Some of you that are standing, as hands are laid, you will find out that it wasn't sickness. My dear, God will set you free right now. Because your own is an oppression. Look at me. Are you, are you listening to me? There is a devil that has oppressed this girl. You will go. 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 Go in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Greater than any other name. Something is leaving you. I'm seeing a dark object coming out of you. Come out of her now. Sister, look at me. I'll pray for you. God will set you free. You believe that? Now thou foul devil, let this girl go round by the power of the Holy Ghost. Go! 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 Let her go in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I say, you won't hide. Come on, I see you in the spirit. Go out of her in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Janka, please. Minister Jakes, Bishop, let's begin to... As they lay hands, they will speak to your life. Don't just think they are laying hands. Hallelujah. Please stand. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. As hands are laid, begin to pray while you're standing. Out of him now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed now. I curse that devil of darkness. Go. 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 Be healed in the name of Jesus. Come out of her now. Come out of her. Come out of her.
come out of her come out of her right devil of darkness come out of her in the name of jesus let him go let him go now let him go let him go go be healed sister i cost that devil because i also see oppression in your sleep that demon of darkness go in the name of jesus in the name of jesus be made whole right now be made whole oh god is not done with you god is not done with you be healed in the name of jesus as you go back to your seat check yourself be healed right now be healed right now be healed right now be healed right now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus come out of her now come out of her come out of her by the fire of the holy ghost out of her right now in the name of jesus what's wrong be made free right now in the name of jesus be free right now in the name of jesus Set your free. Set free right now. From every oppression. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, only outside, not inside. All of you outside, lift your hands. Not those inside. Please, those inside. Lift your hands, those outside. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. The fire of God will terminate the works of darkness. So many of you are under influences of the devil. Hallelujah. Only those outside. At the count of three, as you shout, the power of God comes upon you. One. Two, three. Let the fire fall. I cause devils. I cause demons. Go, go, go. Bring them in, ushers. Go, go. Let the fire fall. Bring them in. Bring them in. The fire fall all across the building. Outside. All across. Fire is falling. Those outside. One more time. Those outside. Shout Jesus. In power, move in power at the back, outside at the back, move in power, move in power. The fire of the Holy Ghost outside, the fire of the Holy Ghost outside, the fire of the Holy Ghost outside. The fire of the Holy Ghost outside. The fire of the Holy Ghost. 
Outside, God is not gone. Lift your hands. I release fire. 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 Take it. Take it outside. Take it outside. I see two ladies sitting in the same row outside. The fire of God comes upon you now. Right now. That oppression over your life. Two ladies sitting in the same row. Look at me. We've not finished so. We've not finished. If it's possible. If it's possible, the ministers are going to separate themselves into three and walk across the crowd outside. No devil will survive today. Brother, I see a serpent, not a man. Come out of him now. Out of him now. That devil of darkness. Come out of him. Come out of him. I see a snake, not a man. Come out of him. Come out of him. Come out of him. Fire upon you. 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 I'm seeing a snake, not a human being. You see the way he's behaving? Look at what he's doing. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. Come out of him. In the name of Jesus. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. Leave him, leave him, go. Go, go, go. As you touch me, you touch fire. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Come out of him. He must be free. Come out of him. Come out of him Listen to me. Hold on. I set you free. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Leave him. Look at he's free. Look up. Look at this gentleman. Someone who came oppressed of the devil. Brother, you are free in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pick him up. Stand up, my brother. Look at, see, he's even surprised. Look at. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, look at me. Look at me. Do you know when you came out here? Where were you? You came outside. Help me with the mic. What's your name? Samuel. Eh? Samuel. Where are you coming from? 
Look at this guy. Outside, he doesn't even know that he's here. Look at him surprised, looking at everybody. The Lord perfect you and set you free. Where was the lady you were praying for? Pray, this lady. See, I see an old woman. That's what I'm seeing. Turn this lady. I see a very old woman. Come on now, come out of her. Come out of her, you're not done. Come out of her. Come out now. She laid down as though it's done. You are not done. You are spiritual people here. Out of her now. Out of her by the power of the Holy Ghost. Come out of her right now. That foul devil. In Jesus' name. Leave her alone. She's free. Look at her. What's wrong with this woman? Who brought her? Please, if you brought someone, make sure you stand close to the person. Who brought mama? Who are you? Come. Well done. What's her name? Lydia. What's wrong with her? She has been bleeding for the past three years now. For the past three years. Look at. She had dislocation. She had what? Dislocation on her shoulder. She could Since not when? Carry mama, she can she talk? Yes, I can. Mama, talk. how are you? I'm well. Well done, eh? What's the issue? Oh, this hand now is dislocated. Yes, it was since December last year. December? Uh, that I went to toilet on my way coming back. You see, you always, like you always know the signature of Satan when you see it. I'm not so, teaching you to be demon conscious. Back, I'm just I telling just you that. Sitting on the ground. You did what? I said on my way coming back. I found my on the way from the toilet. Yes. How old are you, mama? I'm 51. 51. I found myself sitting on the ground. You not found that, yourself sitting on the ground. I, that, I don't know how it, uh, it happened. Not that I fell down flat. So. And, okay, come. You are her daughter. Let, let her talk. I was taken to a student that is not stroke because immediately it happened. My left hand and left leg seized. Your left I, leg right now is not moving. No, it's moving. What of your right hand? The what right, is wrong with that, it? No, nothing happened. It's only the left leg and the left hand that seized immediately. Then I was rushed to the hospital. So the bleeding will stop. No, and, no. The case of the bleeding is different from. I was taken to the hospital. That uh, it was cancer of the womb. Cancer of the womb. Yes. You still have it. Yes. It's going to go. This is what so, I'm saying. That it was not stroke. That it was partial stroke. It was what? Partial stroke. Partial stroke. Then, the following, day, I was in the hospital for two weeks. I, I know. I told them the doctor that I want him to discharge me. I want to go for prayer. So I went to, for prayer in Nosarawa State. So, the, the following day, in, in the prayer house. It's I time move, for you I to move, go. Go, 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 go. Out of her now. Out of her now. Now in the name of Jesus. That devil. Out of her now. Fire on you. Fire on you. In the name of Jesus. Fire upon you. Go, go, go. Go. Sorry, mama. So, I moved my leg. So, I went. From okay, what, what, is, what, okay, so what is wrong with you right now? What, what did now, you come with right the now? Of the womb. Cancer it's of the womb. Cancer of the womb. Bleeding. Then, your the, hand. The hand. These are the two conditions. Now that I fell down flat, so I discovered that I have dislocation on my shoulder. So, okay, it's all right. The hand has been fixed locally, but up to now I couldn't move the hand. But I will pray for you. I'll pray for you. Yes. All right. Can you feel my hands? Can you feel my hands? Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. My God, do wonders in this hand right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Perfect this hand. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. That devil of darkness, your hold is taken from my hands. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. fingers yes. every pain go i command you to go you are of the spirit of darkness i challenge you try lifting it up lift both of your hands up try it 
Just try lifting your hands up. Can you? Try lifting it up. In the name of Jesus. You feel pain? You feel pain where? Your shoulder. By the power of the Holy Spirit, begin to move it more. In the name of Jesus, begin to move it. Start moving. Start moving. Start moving. Start moving. Start moving. In the name of Jesus, I curse that devil. I curse that devil. Can you wind your hand? Try and wind this hand. Just look at me. someone that coughs out blood you cough all the time you cough out blood please hurry up you cough out blood literally who is the person inside are they hearing me outside quickly if you identify that person let the person come you cough out blood literally come out Please clear the way for them. Ah, look at oppression. This is what I'm seeing. Come on now, get out of her. Out of her now. Out of her now. Out of her in the name of Jesus. Out of her now. Out of her, thou devil of darkness. I curse you by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. only this lady but the members of her family have been oppressed lay your hands on her chest in the name of Jesus I curse that power of darkness be free totally now in the name of Jesus since when for the past two weeks, for the past two weeks. have you gone to the hospital can I pray for you? You believe Jesus will lay your hands on your chest. You will feel a fiery sensation upon your chest right now. Now you hear my voice. Let her go. Go! Go! Hallelujah. Those of you inside, lift your hands. I'm going to ask the cymbal to clash and the string play. Listen, when that happens, the fire of the spirit will move across anyone here under any oppression of darkness. You must go. This is not a negotiation. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. At the count of three, begin to clash the cymbal. One, two, three. Kashatabata. Go, 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 go,
go, go, go, go, go. I scratch my head by the power of the spirit. Devils go. Satan be exposed. Satan be exposed. For this purpose was the Son of God. Satan be exposed. Light shine. I release fire. 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 Upon this congregation. Fire. 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 Fire upon you. Fire. Bring them out. Bring them out. Fire. 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 You can't stand it. No devil can stand it. Fire. Bring them out. Bring them out. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire! Everyone under any cause, any spell, any enchantment, any act of witchcraft, fire! The fire is burning. The fire is burning. You can't stand it. Satan, go, go. It's time for God's people to go. It's time for destinies to be open. It's time for what has made you to cry to end. Bring them out. Hey, I see you in the spirit. Leave her. Leave her. Go. 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 I see you in the spirit. Out of her. Out of her. Out of her. Out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are free in Jesus' name. Bring me a mic. I do these things to teach you a lesson. Madam, stand up. No, 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 not her. Not her. You are a devil of darkness. For how do you think you can hide in the presence of God's light? Look at me. Bring the mic for me. You are not gone completely, oh. You are a devil of darkness. Out of her now. On your mark, get set, go. Go, 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 go. Out of her. Come out of her now. 
Come out of her now. Come out of her now. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. As you touch me, you touch fire. As you touch me, you touch the fire of the spirit. It make it is out of her now. Out, 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 out. Come out of her now. She's free. In the name of Jesus. Madam, it will not stand fire from my hands to your head. If I be a servant of God, you stand around fire. In the name of Jesus, come out of her. This woman's destiny has been tied down. Lord, who is the person? Let the fire of God catch up with the person right now. God shows me this room. There's one person. With my hands. Let the fire of the spirit separate that person. Now, 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 now. Stand up, madam. Don't feel embarrassed. Calm down. Hallelujah. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I want you to look at me. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. See, this woman has suffered. You just see someone walking. Things are not going right. People speak all kinds of grammar and Satan is advancing. Mama, please come. Jangfa is going to speak to you. I sense, please, Mama. You are free. Take her outside. I see her coughing, whatever. Please take her outside for God's sake so we don't litter this place. Take her outside. I don't know if it's poison or whatever it is that she took. Take her outside. You're still not out. Go out, go out, go out now. Out, go out. Go out in the name of Jesus. Go out of her. Go out of her. Come, place your hand on this lady's chest. Out of her. Come out of her now. I release fire upon you. Foul devil. Out of her. Patata tata ta kapa. Rakata posa tali. Rekete kete kete. Le gronto zopo rotata. Riata la kosiama. Alright, your reign in this life is over. On your mark, set, go, 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 you can't stand it, go, go, go. I prophesy to you today. After today, your life will begin to move as if Satan does not exist. Amen. Are you listening to me? Every oppression, those outside hear me. Every oppression challenging your family through the greatness of the power that is in the name of Jesus that challenge will bow don't let her go bring her back come sweetheart
Look at me. Just look at me. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Just keep looking. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. I'm seeing your father's face on your face. Look at my eyes. Just look. For she will go free. The children shall not suffer the iniquity of their fathers. Right now, you and the spirit of death upon her get lost. Get lost. Get lost. Get lost. Lift up your heads, O oh ye gates. Be ye lifted, O oh ye ancient doors. And the King of glory will come in. In Jesus' name. You're free. Come, Mama. Bring that lady who is falling. See, tonight, many of you, you will go back rejoicing. He who has the Son, has it all. We have the Son, so we have it Lay your hands on her stomach. Out. 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 In the name of Jesus. What is it? Cancer. Who said so? The doctors. Lay your hands there. Lay. Kisa, interpreter. Selina. Where is she? She's walking. Tell her Jesus. Okay. Okay. Tell her Jesus Christ is going to heal her right now. See, she's crying. See, tell her Jesus will heal her now. Is she looking at you? Look at her. Tell her, Mama. Jesus will heal you. Look at, look at, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I can't sleep. It's the night. I can't breathe. Look at this. This is somebody's mother. This is somebody's mother. of you outside, I want you to know that Jesus is in this place. There is someone I need in this room. The devil has oppressed you. And the Holy Ghost spoke to me. He said, come out. Two of you, all of you in this room, lift your hands. That devil is a liar. As I, I shout the name of Jesus, the fire of God will come. People, please let me in the mighty name of Jesus. I release fire right now. My father, locate those two people right now in the name of Jesus. Let the fire of God fall, fall, fall. Two of them, two of them. There's one already, two of them. Fall. Shatata, tata, 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 tata. 
Papo Satoya. Four. 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 Sister, tonight is your night of salvation. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out. Come out of her. Shut her down. Out of them. 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 Bring them in. He who was the son. See, none of you will go back the same. Are you hearing me? None of you will go back. Who is Grace here? Who is by the name Grace? You are standing here. Your name is Grace. Who is Grace? Come in, sir. He who has the Son has eternal life. We have the Son, so we have eternal life. Time is up. Thou foul devil. Let this guy go. Go. Fire on you. Fire upon you. That devil of oppression. That devil. Leave him now. Come out of him. 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 Now, fire upon you. Fire. Let him go. Let him go. Come out of him. Come out of him. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of you are not done. Out, out, out until he's completely free. Out. Little girl, be free. I separate you with this spirit. Go. 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 Time up. Time up. This lady is heavily oppressed. Out of her. Out devil of darkness. You came for koinonia. You're welcome. Out of her in the name of Jesus. Stand up. Pick him up. Fire on you right now. It's time. It's time. It's time. You must go. Go. Bring him. You must go. This lady has been so tight. Now, listen. I need to explain something to you. Please follow me. It's not the people. Listen. It doesn't mean they are possessed with demons. Are you listening to me? So get that clear. So that you don't carry your big mouth and start talking stories around. There are three levels of manifestation of Satan. Some of them are acutely possessed with demons. Some of them, devils influence their lives and destinies. So the fact that they are manifesting like they are possessed does not mean they are possessed. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That's why they don't even know. Pick him up. Kai, this guy has been so oppressed of the devil. This lady has dreams and she meets with people. Go out of her. Go out of her. Just let him, let him lie down. When he's ready to stand up. This guy is so weak. He doesn't even know that he has been under all kinds of bondages of Satan. Who prayed? Let me pray for you. Mama, you believe Jesus has authority over cancer? You do? Because he's going to go. Oh yes, it will go. Hmm? There your hand is there. See, I, I'm touching it. It's looking like a stone. Out of her! Out of her! Out of her! 
devil of darkness. It's not cancer. It's a spirit. Go out of her now. Go out of her now. Go out of her now. He was the son has eternal life. Hallelujah. Mama, who brought Mama out? Eh? I said, who is Grace? Oh, I was actually talking about some. Bring the man or the wheelchair and on crutches. Let him come and stand here. Please, if we have not called your case, don't just come out. We'll give room for that. But let him stand. Sir. Please, can you come and minister to this woman for time's sake? Bring him here. Sir, you're welcome. Look at me. What's wrong with you? Accident. On which leg? This leg. What's wrong with the leg? Operation. Operation. Yes. They did surgery and it's not working. You want to walk? Yes. You believe Jesus will set you free? Clear the way for him. He was the son. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Look at me. You believe in Jesus Christ? Can you walk without with it? Are you feeling pains? Where? What of this leg? Look at me. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I set you free. I command your leg to straighten out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at me. Walk. Come, follow me. Follow me. Can you walk? Try it. Just take a step and see. What's wrong with the legs? It's heavy. Ah, where? But can you bend it like this? Try and bend it. Go ahead. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Could you do this before? Could you do this before? God is healing you. Keep moving it. Move it. Move it. You just do what I'm telling you to do. Move it. Move it. Now move it like this. Move it like this. Move it like this. Move it like this. Can we try and walk now? Hold this one. Hold my hands. Walk. Let's walk. Let's walk. Let's walk. Try and match it down. Is it because of the metal? There's a metal inside his leg. So it's limiting him from walking. Hallelujah. So they must remove the metal. They can't, oh, they put it here permanently. Lord, let this metal become his bones. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. This metal. Amen. Melt away. Please, ministers, move across the crowd. We don't have time. Go ahead. Okay, Jamfa is already ministering. Some people outside, just move and minister to people. Join them, Kenny. Someone should take on this role. Vivian, I'm hearing the name Vivian, Pastor Sir, yes. Vivian, who is Vivian? A fair lady called Vivian. No, no, a fair lady called Vivian. The Lord is showing me a fair lady called Vivian. Vivian. Sister, stand up, look at me. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Thou foul devil. Go! 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 In Jesus' name. Be set free. Leave I alone. Vivian. What's wrong with you? 
Eh? People come to you and oppress you in a dream. Is that correct? Do you know me? Have, you, have I talked with you before? You want to be free? You'll be free right now. Jabala <laughs> God, John, it's time for you to enter God's plan and purpose for your life. Are you listening to me? Because you are not supposed to be a photographer. Are you listening to me? You are supposed to have gone far beyond this level. God didn't just bring you to Koinonia to snap. Please take the, photo, the camera. Victor can snap, so be doing it in the interim. You believe what I'm telling you? Uh -huh, because I see that how many people drink in your family? Tell the truth and shame the devil. How many? Two people, sir. You and who? I don't drink, sir. Again, yes, sir. you used to drink. Yes, sir. Have you stopped? Yes, sir. Completely. Yes, sir. Praise God. But the Lord will set you free. Hmm? Because in your family, women. Uh -uh. You believe that? Yes, eh? See, let me tell you the truth. This is not your destiny in Christ. This happened as a result of frustration. Is that correct? Many things. School didn't work. Many things happened. Even Wayek, you don't even have your complete result. Is that true? Help me. Is that true? That's true? God will set you free. Hallelujah. You believe that? I want to speak into your destiny and call it forth into where God wants you to be. That devil is a liar. <laughs> out of him now come out of him I release your glorious destiny the days of oppression are over rise up beyond the photographer become the leader and the entrepreneur that God has destined for you to be. see listen it's not that this guy is lazy I hope you know that it's not that he's lazy Ella come Abigail, come. Wumi, come. Three of you, come and stand here. For the sake of your families, the time has come. Out of her. Come out of her now. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. A devil of darkness. Out now. Now. Shatata rata. Reketele mo subariata. Rento capriata laka, rakata ba 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 ba. Out, out, fire upon you. Setele ke pariata. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Fire, 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 fire. Be set free. Right now, in the name of Jesus, you have a glorious destiny. No devil will hold you down. In the name of Jesus, lawful captives be free. I release you, that devil of temper and anger. Go, go. I command you be free. The plague of death over your family. Go, 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 go. I come in. I command that terminal disease. Now it's time. Time up. Time up. You are a devil. Go in the name of Jesus. Be free, fire upon you, fire upon you, fire upon you. That devil cannot stand. Fire upon you. It's time to be free. Time to be free. Time to be free. Leave her, let her go. This lady has suffered too long. You've held her destiny down. Go in the name of Jesus. Once again. I stop praying for you for a reason. Please take this guy up, this gentleman. Look at me. See?
shortcomings. You know that your life, listen, listen. I saw upon this guy the spirit of Cain. And I didn't know what it was. He was lying down there. That was why I walked there and laid my hands upon. You know the curse that was upon Cain? Bring them out. God is not done with them yet. You know the curse that was upon Cain? He said he won't die, but he will be a wanderer. This is how this guy's life has been. Today you are in Lagos. Tomorrow you are here. Next tomorrow you are this. It's time for your freedom. Free you. He was the son. Has the time. My dear, come and stand here. Yes. Come and stand here. Birthday girl. You are the one who celebrated your birthday yesterday. You're welcome. We are going to pray and minister to people. The ministers are, sir, you, you are done? Ah, please pray. Oh, please take time and speak into their lives. I beg you. These people came to receive. Ministers, go around, please. Prophesy to them. Where's Jamfa? Jakes, please. Please move around. Where are the people I called out now? My dear. You know, the devil wants to make your life a waste. So you are moving, but you are not accomplishing anything. But the Lord loves you. And tonight, the eye of the Lord is upon you. Hallelujah. You believe that? Hold my hands. Both of your hands. Look at me. Just look at me. Lord, let this lady be free. From every oppression of darkness. In the name of Jesus. Be free. I set you free. Look at me. I'm seeing you pregnant. Drive every useless man out of your life. Are you listening to me? I'm not saying you are pregnant now. I'm saying I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit, not physically. Hallelujah. Praise God. So don't please kick any man who wants to come and talk grammar around you. Because I'm seeing that you are going to three countries. Number one, South Africa. Huh? Number two, UK. Number three, Canada. These three countries. The Lord is taking you there. Hold on. But then I see a lot of resistance rising up from wherever. I may not be able to talk all this with you because we're in the presence of people. But I want to pray for you. It's time. See, three things will happen. One, a passion for God you cannot recover from. The ministers are ministering to people around. While they are that devil, let me tell you, cast out every devil, prophesy, release people to their prophetic destinies. Let her go. Go! Go! Time up, thou devil of darkness. Be free now. Be free now. I command that wicked spirit. Depart from your life. Fire right now all over your body. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost. All over you. Right now. Leave her, let her go. For she shall not be called Jabez. That's what the Lord says I should say. Because you were born in sorrow, you will not be called Jabez. Tonight, I enlarge your coast in the spirit. My dear, look at me. From today, you will walk into your prophetic destiny. See, you don't know what it is that has happened to you now. Even you, you cannot answer. But look at me. You are a very good girl. Are you listening to me? 
but you are assuming the character of another person tonight the lord sets you free this lady is a wonderful lady beyond your imagination but sometimes you see her doing things that even her does not know because i see the spirit of anger and rage i mean rage almost to kill somebody but the lord sets you free and this is what i'm seeing in the spirit i'm seeing you move from the side and you are climbing a ladder and the lord says restore this is what i prophesy restore this is what will begin to happen to you restore hallelujah if i if i hearing the name if i if i who is if i If I now, if you brought someone for healing from outside Zaria, quickly bring them phone. Quickly, we have to round up. Quickly, please bring them. If you invited someone, no matter how far you are outside, bring the person, sir. Come, it's time for the Lord to set you free, not only in your health. But on every area of your life. You believe that? Hmm. Hold my hands. Both of your hands. All right now. I speak to you. I open up that door. I challenge the works of darkness. Go! By the fire of the Holy Ghost. One, two, three. The Lord perfects you. Who brought this man? What's wrong with him? Bring them forward. He has what? His sight. He used to be bigger than this. But what happened? Because I'm seeing something like a rock upon his head. Silvanus. Sir, does he drink? Who is your friend that drinks? He's drinking. You need to get him born again and serious with God. Right? I want to pray for you right now. Your weight will come back, your life will be restored. And your eyes, you will begin to see clearly. Hallelujah. Hey, Stephanus. Silvanus. From where? From Hindogo. From where? Hindogo. Eh? Hindogo. I-A-U. Hindogo. Ah, okay. You are born again. You love Jesus Christ. But you won't do ministry the way you are planning. You will start afresh with God, right? So disable all those man of God thing. You will start afresh, primary one, two, three, four, five. God will anoint you, right? I'm going to pray for you. You believe what I'm saying and leave all your friends who are deceiving you. Huh? You are going to be a great man, but you are not yet that man. So you will stay in the school of the spirit. Hmm? These teachings that you people jump and pride over, they are basic things in the spirit. Let God work with you. From today, you begin a new journey. Hold my hands. Lord, put a fire upon him. Right now, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, a new beginning, fresh start. Just breathe in and out. As deep as you can. In and out. Baba, be free. Be free in the name of Jesus. Free in the name of Jesus. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Who brought him? He came on his own. What's wrong with you? Migraine. Put your hands on your head. Lay it on your head. Be free. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Come. This fair lady, you come.
please pour the prayer request. You will be a mighty tool in the hands of God. Huh? Mighty tool. But he will first set you free. Then you will begin a walk with him. Any appetite and anything that does not belong to him will give way. You will be surprised what you will begin to do in your life. Okay? Look at me. What am I doing? One leg in. Where is the other leg? Why? Because this is how your life is. It's time for you to love him with every passion. Hmm? So I break everything that is not of God in the realm of the spirit. Let the fire of God take over. Take over your life. Take over her life. Now, foul spirit, let her go. Lord, anoint her and use her. Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. Please do it quickly. Someone help her. Lift up your hands. I look to you. saw the sun rising over your family and then I heard this song I will wait for you Jesus you're the sun in my the days of oppression are over you are standing on behalf of your family Something is happening to your father right where I'm holding. The Lord is setting him free. Today the Lord is giving you the mantle that was upon your mother. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Because as I look at you I see her face. And the Lord says I should tell you to run with the spirit of power. Whatever you decree will happen. The Lord will establish you and you will be a mother indeed. That all your times of tears will be taken away by a new joy. Take this message to your father for the Lord visits your family tonight. What was I doing? Okay, the ministers are still... Okay, those that are around, Pastor Williams is here. Just, if the ministers are ministering, let them continue, but... Those that are around, even if it's just me and Pastor Williams, please, let's pray on the request. After we pray on the request, I'm going to begin to move prophetically and speak. This is the time you will receive. Are you listening to me? Stretch your hands towards this prayer request and begin to pray in tongues. Bishop. your hands shabala bara do krasta bara bara rata kata prata gada bala bash paro kaprande pradeshida do miracles oh god mare kata bala bash solve every problem here oh god and for all our facebook twitter Egyptians, you see them no more. These Egyptians, you see them no more. These Egyptians, you see them no more. 
these Egyptians, you see them no more. These Egyptians, you see them no more. These Egyptians, you see them no more. These Egyptians, you see them no more. These Egyptians, you see them no more. These Egyptians, you are conquered. Whatever is conquered here is conquered. All over this country and around the world, we release testimonies, miracles in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord, by your spirit, Lord, by your hand, Lord, by your spirit, Lord, by your great power, let there be miracles on this request. Miracles, supernatural miracles, terminate sicknesses, terminate diseases, never to return. Creative miracles in the name of Jesus. All supernatural jobs, supernatural wisdom, let it be done by your spirit. Miracles by your spirit. Supernatural miracles by your spirit. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name. I found a reason why I sing. I found a reason why I sing. I found a reason why I see. I found a reason. Lift your hands. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. I want you to receive every prophetic word because the creative power of God is going to swing into motion. The creative and prophetic power. Lift your hands. As I pray, I'd like you to shout a loud amen with your spirit. Hallelujah. Right now. Doors of delay. I command you. Be opened. In the name of Jesus. Delay. Be gone. Delay. Be gone. Delay. Delay in marriage. Delay in jobs. I curse it to his root I release you in the name of Jesus every academic bondage every academic bondage kateka leko sopa repete latu zabadi adaka in the name of Jesus, be free. Be free. Be free. Mental blockage, be free from it. Academic bondage, I set you free. This is the best exam you would have ever written in your institutions of learning. I prophesy it by the power of the highest. I call this session for you a season of sevenfold restoration. Sevenfold restoration. Sevenfold. Sevenfold. Not onefold. Not twofold. I speak it. Where you have been victimized, any student here who has been victimized right now, whether it is project or service year or whatever, I change it in the realm of the spirit.
any one of your loved ones that has no job between today and the middle of April I command fearful supernatural jobs in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus every womb called Barry I don't care whether the womb has been removed or not right now in nine months time you will celebrate miracle children be open every barren womb be open hallelujah every plague of death over your life or your family members make sure you are lifting your hands over every plague of death by the blood that speaketh better things because I see miscarriages that the devil wants to bring to many families I see miscarriage of children every plague of death I command it to pass over you forever in the name of Jesus He said, because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, therefore God, even thy God, has anointed you with a type of oil called the oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. The anointing that brings you above, I call you in the realm of the spirit. Rise up in the name of Jesus. Rise up a new level of prosperity. A new level of lifting a new level of wisdom and Jesus grew in wisdom in stature and in favor with God and with men as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives let a cloak of favor hit you where you are Favor, 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 favor. Every terminal disease in this place, HIV, cancer, in the name of Jesus, we terminate it once and for all. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. S S A S. We change your genotype in the realm of the spirit. In the name of Jesus. Every demonic oppression that is responsible for where you are and where your family is tonight. It is time for the new anointing. Guard up your loins and be ready. Every yoke of bondage surely must be broken. I command every captivity over your family by the shed blood of Jesus Christ captivity ends in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I'm standing in the spirit before a gate and the Lord is telling me let God's people walk to it and move forward in their life I command you by the spirit and according to the vision of the Lord to me move forward go forward no more stagnation in ministry enter your place of anointing enter your place of rest enter it I place you inside it I take you into the mantle of your life the prophetic oil 
of your life I release it move forward go forward in the name of Jesus Christ and I speak to you every Egyptian you see today you are the one who knows the Egyptian so lift your hands with faith in your spirit everything called an Egyptian as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives once and for all bye bye to them forever bye bye to them forever in your family bye bye to them bye bye to them I release signs wonders I release miracles take it take it take it take it from the depth of my heart according to the order of grace take your miracle take your miracle take your miracle everything your hand touches from today in the name that is above all names I command it to multiply my brother stand here bring this lady come this is what I'm demonstrating to you what I saw in the spirit that God is connecting you to the people who will take you to the next level of your life may the Lord take you where your gift will be needed may the Lord take you where your gift I command demand upon your oil demand prophetic demand I command every uncompleted family project every uncompleted family project the Lord shows me the number 21 in the realm of the spirit and I pray that between now and the next 21 days I command angels of help I release it to your families receive it receive it help help is coming Zion's help the helper of Zion move across families move across families I tell you as surely as the Lord lives between today and the next 21 days you will see fearful testimonies by the hand of God hallelujah lift your hands I impart spiritual gift upon you at the count of seven let fresh fire fall upon everybody every one two three my god do it i see angels four five six there it is come on take it take it take it take it take it outside take it take it take it in the name of jesus take it Take it. Take it. Fire. The prophetic. The apostolic. The evangelistic. Teaching mantles. Pastoral graces. Leadership. Entrepreneurship. I fire it into your spirit
everywhere you have been deserted so that no man goes through you i call you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations in the name of the lord jesus doors be open breakthrough breakthrough many of you don't know what breakthrough is you just receive it breakthrough i release it breakthrough i release it breakthrough i release it breakthrough an angel stands in this row take it breakthrough take it take it take it take it right to the back take it take it the Lord gives you a new name whatever you came here for whatever request you brought I command go back with a testimony go back with a complete testimony whatever you came here with go back with a testimony in the name of Jesus and every one of you who came from far and near to catch a fire and catch an anointing go back with that fire go back and reproduce these things and even greater receive it receive it Listen, friends, it's a sacrifice to become relevant in this generation. There is a price to pay. And now we cannot keep pampering ourselves and just making ourselves look good and expect to shake our generation. It comes with a price. This is the price. The price of investment in the word and investment in the ministry of prayer. Hallelujah. That's how our fathers were equipped. That's how they were built. And if we must make a mark in the sands of time, then it's more than shouting and jumping. There must be a place of travail in the spirit. There must be sowing in the spirit. Awake thou that sleepest and arise from the dead and Christ shall give thee light. Verse 15. It says, see then that ye walk circumspectly. The word there is accurately. See that you walk in precision and accuracy. That means you can move, you can chart the course of your life in accuracy and precision. No beating about the bush left, right and center. It says, see then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Verse 16, one to read. Redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Stop. The Bible lets us know that the days that we are living in, the days can be evil. And it tells us a secret. It says, as believers, that we need to learn the principle of redeeming the time. Because the days are evil. I'm going to be sharing on redeeming the time very briefly and then we'll pray. Listen. There are many words that were interpreted time in scripture. But there are two of them that are of note tonight. One is called Kronos. And the other is called Kairos. Hallelujah. Kronos means the passage of time. That's where we get the word chronicles from Kronos. Alright. So it means the passive time, your time that moves every day. And then there's another one called Kairos. And Kairos means the set time, the opportune time, the time of opportunity. Now the difference between Kronos and Kairos is that Kairos happens only once in a while. 
Hallelujah. And Kairos is such a prophetic time in any man's life. Such that when you maximize the Kairos moment, you can be victorious for a lifetime. And if you miss out on your Kairos moment, you may lose out for a very long time. And so here Paul is speaking a mystery to the Ephesian church. In light of the fact that they understand the progression of Kairos and Kronos. He says redeem the time. The word used there is the word Kairos or Kronos, sorry. The regular time. Redeem. He said because the days are evil. Look up please. I always like giving this example. When a student is in secondary school for instance Jess 1, Jess 2, Jess 3 is called Kronos because whether he fails an assessment it really doesn't matter but when he gets to Jess 3 the time of JSCE for instance that's a Kairos moment are you following me now? because whatever he makes out of that exam will determine whether he will move to the next phase of his life are you following me now? when he utilizes that kairos moment then he keeps going chronos and then he gets to a point where he's about to write ssc and not that kairos moment comes that can determine whether or not he will move to the next phase of his life are you following me now now the way god designed his system is such that satan does not have knowledge of kairos moments god designed it in such a way that satan has not been equipped with the knowledge to know when your prophetic time will come hallelujah that's what makes satan fearful about your life and so the only way he frustrates that opportune time is to make you waste your chronos because he understands that is the investment that you make in your everyday chronos that will account for the quality of delivery that will come when that prophetic time comes are you listening to me i'm trying to explain to you what paul is speaking to the church here he told them redeem your chronos in other words it may not look like he's counting now but there is a kairos time coming and it will come at a time that you may not even know but your investment in your chronos will prepare you for that prophetic time of your life see satan does not know the day and the hour when certain prophetic blueprints about your life will be opened. And so what happens? He attempts to frustrate your chronos. So that when the Kairos moment comes, you are not equipped to take out of it. And so Paul is speaking to the efficient church and is telling them, redeem your chronos. Because when the Kairos moment comes, it's your degree of preparation. The Bible says for one year, Esther was utilizing her corners because there was a Kairos moment coming. Are you follow me now? That Kairos moment was one night. She would have the opportunity to make a mark of a lifetime. And the Bible says every day for one year, she kept preparing, anointing herself with all kinds of aloes and anointing oils. And the Bible said when that Kairos moment came, she passed the king just once. And the king chose her. And it was through her God brought liberty and emancipation to Israel. There are so many believers today that miss out on their prophetic timing because they are careless over their chronos. Hallelujah. I want to explain to you why we spend time praying and we spend time drilling ourselves in the world. Because for every one of us, it's like a shooting star. It doesn't happen all the time. But one day, it will just happen and Satan does not have knowledge of it. And so it frustrates him because every time he sees you investing in your chronos, he knows that you understand the principle. Are you seeing that? So Satan makes us lazy towards prayer, lazy towards investing in the world. And then when your Kairos moment comes, because you have not been sensitive to pick the signals of the spirit, you are not able to adjust to the shift that comes into your life. Great men have been made today because they were equipped to understand the bible says the children of Issachar they had an understanding of their kairos moments and they knew what to do hallelujah and so when we take time to pray and invest in the spirit we are making quality investments preparing for our kairos 
David was preparing for his chaos with Goliath and every day he kept building the wilderness he wasn't loitering around making noise his brothers were there feeling like big boys but he was there preparing for the kairos moment the opportune time you will not even know the bible says Saul was busy being diligent to his father little did he know that that diligence was a preparation for the anointing chronos because when the kairos moment comes we cannot take advantage of it that's why for many of you when your friends are going and you want to go god will draw you back and say sit down you say god but it's not fair god says i love you too much to allow your chronos your kairos time waste there are many of you that you wanted to go home god said stay back and you're like god leave me now and god said it's an investment because the kairos time is coming and hear me it will not announce itself to you is your degree of preparation he just carried food to go and give his brothers and he had a giant roaring but he had invested in his chronos and when he looked he was not afraid because he had done his assignment he killed a bear in his chronos he killed a lion in his chronos and when he looked at goliath he said who is this uncircumcised philistine the audacity that comes when you invest in your chronos there are many of you God is building you and the day God will announce you is one day as you're moving a madman will just meander your way on that day the investment on your corners will speak you may not look like it now but hear me there is a training there is a building and Paul tells the Ephesian church he says redeem the time don't waste your time salvage it invest in it when others are wasting their time realize you are not going to the same place there is destiny inside of you and for that reason constrain yourself yes I know it's painful but it's the sacrifice that makes you a champion every minister of God you see sitting here and for the ministers around any noticeable grace of God you see upon their life came as a result of quality investment in the time of their corners and God orchestrated events to announce them one day all this ministry thing that people want to announce themselves that's nonsense I keep saying it the greatest publicity of a believer is to remain in your secret place building yourself for that Kairos moment hallelujah when you spend time in prayer you spend time building yourself with the word you will equip yourself to a point that you'll be so full of the holy ghost the bible talks about stephen he was one of the seven deacons that were chosen to address the issue of food but he was building himself and a time came from serving food he became such a miracle worker the first martyr I will not deceive you friends if you want to make a mark in the sands of time then let when when pain is a burden to you then you are not ready to emerge a champion away with all these soft nice things just make you feel cool under an AC wonderful but let me tell you not for generals when you are ready to emerge everybody knows that the birth of anything valuable is painful anything that will be of value that's why when we come we take quality time investing in the spirit hallelujah let me show you something in the book of galatians thank you holy spirit Eight. to read be not deceived God is not but whoever a man sows that shall hear him stop does that scripture make you fear that God is saying don't let anybody deceive you don't ever expect to read anything you have not sown we are not talking about money are you listening to me many we want power we want grace they do Time 
volume of sowing into your life. The Bible says, what we see, why cannot be mocked. Whatsoever, in other words, if Aaron becomes a champion today, we cannot say it's by mistake. We know what happened. Any success that does not have a process is a mirage. Any success that does not have a process. And people ask you, I don't know what I did. In the harvest of the times of Who? Did he say a believer? Whatsoever a man sows, that will he reap. Let's read the next verse. He says, For, in other words, in continuation to that previous verse, for he that soweth to his flesh will lost the flesh reap what? Let me show you how to sow to the flesh. Look up. When you spend 8 o'clock in the morning till 10 p.m watching nigerian food you may not like me this night oh but i love you too much i will force destiny and greatness out of you when you spend time just loitering around left right and center and not staying in god's word when you spend time just doing anything you know what you are doing you are sowing to the flesh hear me you will of the flesh reap corruptible things but the bible says he that soweth um, how does he say it? He said, but he that soweth to the spirit. How do you sow in the spirit? In the place of prayer. You are making spiritual investments. Because they are not investments that are tangible. They are not investments in the bank where you can go and say, give me back my money. They are spiritual investments. And they are the most powerful kinds of investments. So as you spend time in the secret, saying lord how amiable are your laws they are my meditation all day long the bible said the secret of the lord belongs to them that fear him not to believers to them that fear him there is a kind of reverence you give god that will cause him to commit certain secrets hallelujah the bible says he that sows to the spirit will of the spirit live life eternal it's not talking about the eternal life you received when you were born again will receive all the spiritual blessings that come as a byproduct of quality investments hallelujah we need to start paying attention to our spiritual investments i've said it and i'll say it again you mustn't you can ask my brothers they'll bear witness when you come to our house Mm. the only thing you'll find is worship songs and sermons now I don't have any problem against movie I don't have any problem against anything no 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 what I'm saying is the price we have chosen to pay for the kind of destiny we expect don't see me blessed tomorrow and say God loves some people it's not true I'm showing you the secret of a life of undeniable impact irrespective of your age irrespective of your gender if you sow to the spirit if you sow to the spirit you sow to the spirit your profiting will appear unto all he told his son Timothy in 1 Timothy chapter 4 I think verse 15 he says meditate on these things give yourself only to them your profiting will appear unto all the trouble is Many of us like feeling comfortable. We like feeling comfortable. Don't disturb me. Don't bug me to pray. Don't bug me to study the word. Please, I'm not like that. Me, I just study the word for five minutes, praying in tongues for five minutes. Let's see the kind of harvest that comes. The Bible says, He that soweth sparingly shall reap sparingly. Don't just take it to money alone. He that soweth in prayer sparingly shall reap results sparingly. He that soweth bountifully shall reap bountifully. Hallelujah. And I want us to get results. The message tonight is that we must spend time sowing in the spirit. People will laugh at you. They will call you, what do they call you ladies? Mother Mary, S you. Let me tell you something. Those who are laughing at you today will laugh with you tomorrow. 
Hallelujah. If you are ashamed of it, how many of you have seen a pregnant woman ashamed? When a lady is pregnant, sometimes it so shapes her face. But who cares? Didn't you see her before she got pregnant? But it's because she's carrying something. And so sometimes she may have to bend in certain postures that are uncomfortable. But she knows that it's a prize. And you can stand and be gisting about it. But she's carrying something. The day she gives birth, you come and greet her. And the issue is you will not come empty-handed. The same you who was laughing. And when she gives birth to twins or triplets. Are you getting my message tonight? There are many of us when we say pray. You're just trying to check if your wevon has shifted. <laughs> Let me tell you, if that's how your understanding of the investment for destiny is, then you are still playing. Hallelujah. Or you are checking your clothes and say, ah, this material. We must wake up and get serious with our lives. It says, he that soweth to the flesh will of the flesh with corruption. We're going to take some time and pray in the spirit. Hallelujah. Tonight is a prayer meeting. We are sowing to the spirit you may say what are we saying we are making spiritual investments the Holy Ghost is going to be praying certain things please everybody stand and tonight you are not praying in your heart your ears must hear what your mouth is saying we are going to pray hallelujah go ahead if your chair is discomforting you walk around because we are not going to stop in the next 10 minutes so you better get set go ahead and let's pray come on Pray in the spirit. Walk around, walk around. Spiritual investments. Ne baka prande kete mele de boko sobe kete bosh. Maka prande kapa shataria. Make sure you are praying. Friends, it's an investment. It will speak for you. Shaka taba na baka prande kete boko sobe kete boko sa. Manta prande kete bosh. Ne kata bara kete mele de bosh. Maka prande kete bosh. Ne kenda ti ke paliata. Akra dosa bega de boko sa. Ne kete kete boko sobe kete boko sa. Makaria taba na baka prande kete Make sure you are praying. You came here to pray tonight. It's for your destiny. It's for your destiny. Don't spare. Make sure you are praying. Don't be carried away by the instrumentalists. Don't be carried away by the cameras. You are in serious business tonight. In a serious business tonight. You are making yourself relevant. I assure you. Ideas will come as you pray. Impartations will come as you pray. Freedom, emancipation, victories in the spirit. Let's 
showing you relevant scriptures are you listening to me concerning every major areas of our lives hallelujah and then when we pray these scriptures we'll pray in the spirit we need to have victories in our lives enough of just receive receive no this, we are going to do it in the world this is the kind of training that lasts hallelujah look at me i want to start with the guys concerning your life your well-being your marriage your wife should i show you one scripture never forget it psalms 128 all the gentlemen turn to that scripture we are going to pray we're in a prayer meeting tonight if you're tired you can go but we're in a serious prayer meeting tonight psalms 128 instrumentalists don't stop your ministry tonight is very very important Psalm 128. Are you there? Now all the gentlemen, let's read it. One to read. Blessed is everyone that feareth the Lord, that walketh in his ways. For thou shalt eat the labor of thy hands. Happy shalt thou be, and it shall be well with thee. Verse 3. Thy wife shall be as a fruitful vine by thy sides of thy house. Thy children like olive plants round about the table. Stop from verse 4. Verse 4. Behold, that thus shall the man be blessed who feareth the Lord. Look at me. When you find a scripture like this and draw the life out of it, for every man here, you can see from this scripture that it says you will reap the labor of your hands. It says your wife shall be. That means you will get married. Hello? That solves that problem of beating around the bush. It says walk circumspectly, accurately, by the word of God. He said your children. That means you will not know barrenness. No. It's the truth. That's what the word of God says. He says when you see this thing. That's the portrait of a man who God has blessed. Ladies are you ready? Go to Isaiah 34. And let me show you something. Many of you who think you get married because you are fine. You better change your mind. And get a relevant scripture for your destiny. Isaiah Capria Capo Shataliam Bretista Ibram Po Shabra Catalana Cosabai Isaiah 34. Are you there, ladies? Verse 16. Let's read one to go. Seek out of the book of the Lord and read. None of these shall fall, shall fail. None shall lack her mate. For my mouth has spoken it my spirit has gathered it are you seeing there so for every lady the bible says when you seek out of the book and read part of the promise there is that none shall want her mate that permanently solves the issue of marital insecurity hallelujah are you ready to pray now so all of us are, i don't know why we're starting with that dimension we're going to pray in the spirit guys ladies we're praying in light of this scripture lift up your voice and begin to pray Come on, pray. Tell yourself, I have a blessed home. I have a blessed life. So I'm sowing today. No fight between husband and wife. No quarreling. But we have to sow. We are sowing the seed today. Make sure you pray. Make up that Italian Derebosa. Marco Proto Shopreke Telebos. Don't let the devil make you feel it doesn't matter. It matters to everyone here. Kara Teke Pala de Bacassia. Ambreke Paria Tabalaba. Reke Telebosa. Reke Telebosa. Reke Telebosa. Reke Telebosa. Reke Telebosa. Reke Telebosa. Malibra Tasikaya. Mambreke Telebosa. Rokoto Begede. Ekresha. 
Come on, pray, pray, pray. As some of you are praying, you terminate every cost that is upon you from your family. It doesn't matter where it's coming from. When you stand in light of the world, Satan is helpless. Jesus died to bring the reality of redemption and because of his death, his burial and resurrection by the shed blood of his son, we are victorious and the word of God is alive and keeping our spirits. My home is blessed. My life is blessed. Hallelujah. 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 Listen. For many of us who have found ourselves searching and saying, Lord, I need divine direction in my life. Isaiah 30. Isaiah chapter 30. Take note of these scriptures. They are powerful scriptures coming from the Spirit. We are sowing in the Spirit. I give you a guarantee. We will of the Spirit reap soteria. Health, life, blessings, increase. Isaiah 30. Verse 21. We are reading it together, all of us. Verse 21. Want to read. And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it. When ye turn to the right hand, and when ye turn to the left. Stop. God gives you an assurance. He said, Your ears will hear. Your ears shall hear a voice saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it. Turn right, turn left. The Bible says, Walk accurately. Circumspectly. He's made provision. No more confusion in your life. Lift up your voice and pray. I hear the voice. I hear the voice in my dreams, in visions, in my spirit. I hear the voice. Come on, pray. Concerning your job, concerning your employment, concerning your relationship, concerning your business, concerning your family, concerning your academics, concerning your ministry, you will hear that voice. My sheep hear my voice. My sheep hear my voice. I put it within their spirit, the capacity to hear my voice. Come on, pray. Travel in the spirit. I hear a voice in my business. I hear a voice in my ministry. I hear a voice bringing ideas. I hear a voice bringing inspiration. I hear a voice bringing direction. The voice of the spirit. The voice of the spirit. My spirit is able to recognize his voice. Make sure you are praying. Make sure you are praying. You will rest after the prayer, but not during the prayers. Hallelujah. 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 A scripture concerning your health. Ha. Huh. Romans. Romans chapter 8. Was sowing in the spirit. The days that are coming will require us to live in divine health. There's a lot to do for the kingdom. Are you there? Romans 8. 
there is an activity of the Holy Ghost that happens in your mortal body and it has the capacity to keep you in health. Listen, every word you hear tonight will be tried one day and you will be alone to defend it. When you are a student, when you are about to graduate, there's something called defense. When you prove to them that you know what you were doing in your project, in life, there is defense to move to the next level. Satan came one day to tempt Jesus and Jesus said, it is written, it is written, it is written. Concerning your health, hear me. Especially for those of us who, are, who sense the call of God upon our lives to be in active ministry, you need this revelation. Otherwise, you collapse one day on stage. When you stand and minister for hours and you don't have the time to rest, if this is not a revelation, you minister in the rain, in the cold, in the heat, you travel to places, you are exposed to all kinds of pests, You've got to have this scripture. The Bible says Peter, at a time a viper just beat his hand. And the Bible, I mean Paul, sorry. He said he just shook it and ah, dimensions. In his he understood that there was an activity of the Holy Ghost in his body. Listen, I hope that these realities are, are agreeing with your spirit. Because if you are still arguing and say ah, this thing self, listen, don't be discouraged. Even if you are running to the hospital every day, no one condemns you. You are a student on training. One day you will conquer. So don't feel discouraged. No, there's no reason to be discouraged. That's why we are here. Jesus said, come and I will make you. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 8. Verse 11. Verse 11. Are you ready? Want to read? But if the spirit of him that raised up Christ from the dead dwells in you. He that raised up Christ from the dead shall also give life. Give life. Give energy. Hear me? Listen. Let me explain that scripture before we pray. Here was the dead body of Jesus. I need you to understand that it was the Holy Ghost who made Jesus a seed. He actually turned the world into a seed. He is that powerful. He turned the second person of the Trinity, made him a seed and put him in the womb of a woman. Now here was Jesus lying dead. And on the third day, the Bible says that same spirit came and entered into that body and caused him to come alive. Hear me? I hope you know that Jesus resurrected without blood because his blood had been drained. What magnificent ability of the spirit. Because when he resurrected, there were still holes all over his body. But he was still alive. Now the Bible says, in that same spirit, dwells, not in your spirit, in your body. Listen, listen. I hope that as you are jumping, you are catching this in your spirit. That same spirit will revitalize. There is a quickening. There is an ability in your spirit. If it's cancer, it can die. If it's your genotype, it can change it. Believe it. Believe it. If it were not possible, God will not write it on the wall. Lift up your voice and pray in the spirit. For my health, I make a spiritual investment. <laughs> Come on, pray in the spirit. Holy Spirit, let there be an energizing. I'm tired. Tired of always going to the hospital. Pray. Tired. 
take the nations for the kingdom. The days that are coming will require you to be in perfect health. La caparia cabasa, man peke bosa, reke tele bosa, pero yo sube gereza, en la cariata, de corro yo sube gereza. I see someone with plastic ulcer, plastic ulcer healed, plastic ulcer healed right now. There's someone with ulcer, it just disappeared now. Reke pro shaka, amplia katoli bara, man proto so pigata. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to pray over our minds. There are many people that have been lied to by the devil. That your capacity to think and be intelligent is, is faulty. Tonight we are calling Satan a liar. Are you hearing me? But it's not just to say Satan you are a liar. Jesus said no, no. It will not bring you the results. Job chapter 32 verse 8. Job 32 verse 8. Job 32 verse 8. If you're there, let's read it. One to read. It says there is a spirit in man. And so men don't just understand. It's the inspiration of the Almighty that maketh men of understanding. Hallelujah. You're going to pray and say from tonight, I, I enter a realm of intellectual intelligence capacity to understand are you following me now go ahead and begin to pray in the spirit your mind can bring ideas supernatural ideas from the holy ghost Supernatural ideas. Come on, pray. Pray over your mind. My mind is blessed. I reason in the capacity of the spirit. Supernatural ability to birth ideas. Ideas that will change my family. Ideas that will change my life. Business ideas. Ministry ideas. Technological ideas. It's within your reach. The inspiration of the Almighty. There are some of you who are receiving ideas by the Spirit. Enlarged capacity. By the Spirit tonight. Hallelujah. 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 Look at me. A lot of people are running helter skelter. Recession, recession. Ah, recession, my finances. No, sir. A believer does not behave like that. Turn with me to the book of Job. Let me show you an interesting scripture. Job chapter 5. Let the fear of recession, even if they bomb the whole world, your audacity is in the integrity of the word of God. Let me tell you, businesses are failing, stocks are crashing, things are happening all over. But for the believer, there is provision that gives us security. People are dying of high blood pressure every day because they do not build their lives. They build their lives around money, not around the word of God. 
Are you ready? Respect these scriptures that the Lord is showing you. Job chapter 5, verse 19. Listen. Job chapter 5, verse 19. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven, there shall no evil touch you. Number one, in famine, he shall redeem thee from death. In war, from the power of the sword. So why are you afraid of tomorrow's election? Listen, you must learn to build your life on the integrity of God's word. One time, I think in 2007 or so, I was coming back from Port Harcourt and we were in a luxurious bus and while I was coming back they were robbers I don't know where but they were I mean and I was sitting C2 in the luxurious bus so if they were going to shoot it's me they will meet first before, because the drivers you know how luxurious buses are and they put this barricade that they, this metallic thing that when your tire matches so that you have to stop and everybody was shouting the name of whatever he believes in the car. And I was asleep. But then when I woke up, there was absolute peace. A scripture just came in my spirit. He shall keep them in perfect peace. Whose minds are still. Hallelujah. And guess what happened? True life story. Did I share this story with you? I think he knows the story. And if Jamfa were around, he would bear me witness. Our car matched those metallic things. Those robbers could not shoot. They couldn't do anything. That's how they were watching till we passed. See, you are a supernatural being. Realize it. The problem is, we are always watching Paloma. And so, our minds are bent like carnally minded. We must be alive to the spirit. Hallelujah. Number two, uh, verse 21. Thou shalt be hidden from the scourge of the tongue. So how many of you, they spoke against me from the village. Can you see there? The Bible says, I will deliver you from this thing. No devil can speak against me. From where? See, but hear me. Sorry, just one minute. Until those scriptures become a reality, what they are saying will follow you. That's why there are a lot of believers who have not taken out time to eat the word. And they just say, yeah, I'm safe. But it's obvious that your life is showing that those things are still following you. Are you hearing me? So before you say, I'm free, make sure the word is in your spirit. A lot of people say, ah, me, God forbid, I will do this. People die now. But you see yourself, stay with the word. When you are full of the word, then it gives you the audacity to declare. Exousia, you can speak. As touching the authority of Christ. But until you've stayed in the if you've not stayed in the secret place, don't be shouting up and down. He said, I will deliver you, verse 21, from the scourge of the tongue. So all of those things people talk about, my father's side, my mother's side. And you know, hear me, friends, let's be let's be spiritually alive. Because we live in a generation where people don't want to pay the price and find out what the word of God has said. We like running to every prophet here and there. And he says, okay, uh, this and that. Let me go to my prayer room. You see a man doing divination and you're still comfortably crossing your legs there. And he comes out and gives you one word of knowledge. Hey, it's true, Baba, it's true. Everything happened that way. And, you know, you do all this nonsense. And they tell you, okay, go and bring 100,000. Buy this, buy that, buy this. And believers foolishly go and do those things. Then when it backfires, they come to the ministers and they don't tell all the stories. They just say the one that makes them innocent. There is a more sure word of prophecy, greater than any prophet's word, the word of God. Are you getting blessed? So stop loitering around left, right, and what will happen to my life? Will I die or will I not die? The Bible says, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Say it, God of good and not of evil to bring you a future and an expected end let's hurry up the bible says thou shalt be hidden from the scourge of the tongue neither shall thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh he said at destruction and famine thou shalt laugh that's the word of god and right now there's destruction and famine that means you ought to be laughing See, 
the word of God intoxicates it gives you an audacity when men don't understand they think you are arrogant you are not arrogant you are just covered hallelujah do you believe the word of God you believe the things we are doing here let me tell you when you build your life around the word of God and you sow the seed of prayer you sow the seed of the word you will imagine you will be fearful people just look at you an ordinary man just moving around but you are not as ordinary as they look they see supernatural things happening to your life and men say how come this is happening there's no magic about it he that soweth to the flesh will of the flesh He said in response to your giving Sorry. Sorry about that. Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 12. It says, Lest thou, when thou hast eaten and art full of houses, and built goodly houses, and dwell therein. And when thy herds and thy flocks multiply, and thy silver and thy gold are multiplied, and all that thou hast said, then thou, then thy heart shall be lifted up, and thou forget the Lord who brought you out from the land of Egypt, who led you that, 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 and then verse 17. And thou shalt say in thy heart. So that's the first thing to avoid. A lot of people get blessed and they say in their heart, my intellect, my power, my ability to do business. Really? He said, and thou shalt say in thy heart that my power and my might has brought me this good. When you have avoided that arrogance by recognizing that Lord without you, I am nothing. He said, then thou shalt remember the Lord thy God. For it is he that gives you the anointing, the ability, the capacity to produce wealth. The ability to produce wealth is not money falling from heaven. If you wake up and see money supernaturally appear in your wallet, it's just a sign. It will not continue like that every day. That ability, concepts, ideas, insights. Many of us want money. No, money will not come. Money is a response when you obey certain principles that God has put. Hallelujah. 
so thou shalt remember the Lord thy God for it is he had given thee power so you, you don't get the power from Babala or anybody the Lord gives you the power to get wealth Isaiah quickly Isaiah chapter 45 Isaiah 45 verse 2 and 3 I call them my golden scriptures for finances unbeatable irrefutable principles golden scriptures three legs of a chair you can sit down for a hundred years on this scripture and your finances will not shake one bit I give you a guarantee mm. verse 2 I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight so it's not your responsibility to make it many people have been trying to straighten their path and they are dying by them God said I will do it He says, I will break in pieces the gates of bronze and cut in sunder the bars of iron. Three, let's read together. One to read. And I will give you. Stop. Did he say you will get? I will give you. It's a gift. We don't realize. He said, I will give you. I will give you the treasures of darkness. Read on. And the hidden riches of secret places. There are hidden riches. It takes the spirit of God to show you you will look like this and not see anything Lot looked at the land and he saw a land near Sodom and when he carried it there was no more land God told Abraham now look and Abraham saw land where was it before that 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 is that his brother didn't see I will give you the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secrets I will show you what button to press I will direct you and show you things that will make you a fearful wonder all these struggle believers do is because we do not know how to sit with the word of God and understand his principles the last scripture Isaiah 48 mm. these scriptures are so dear to my life Isaiah 48 I have to hurry up Isaiah 48 verse 17 are you there verse 17 read on everybody want to read I am the Lord that teaches thee how many of you have done tutorials have you gone for tutorials you know how they teach you God says I am the one who can teach you. those of you in business don't kill yourself I am the Lord that teaches thee to profit ah. if you are not taught you will never know you will struggle for nothing and die crying I am the Lord that teaches thee I understand the art of making profit I will teach you that's what the Lord says three powerful scriptures there are many others but sufficient are these three now go ahead and pray and say Lord you have said you will give me the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places many of you will receive them as ideas supernatural ideas you must believe it and if you do go ahead and begin to pray pray in the spirit say Lord I was born in a family that has been challenged financially now is the time there must be evidence that I have been with you. It must show in my finances and that of my family. There must be evidence that I have participated with you in communion. Hallelujah. Go ahead and pray. Lord, let there be a supernatural release of ideas, concepts, insights. Teach your people how to profit. Direct them by the Spirit of the Lord. Only you are able to do this. We can try. We can try and try. Hallelujah. See. Are you seeing why it's important to build your life around the world? Because you can fail as a person, but the word of God that backs you cannot fail. So to the spirit. Let me tell you, these principles of God have no respect for gender. 
no respect for age i tell you the truth at any level when you believe them and begin to live by them your profiting will appear unto all it may take a while in the time of building but it won't be too long your diligence will speak it's the truth it's the truth hallelujah thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting grace so that I will come I will make this a habit to invest in the spirit listen 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 get your phones fill them with scriptures fill them with messages by the grace of God some of these messages are free that's why we make them free the aim is not profit the aim is for lives to be changed get these things can take a day just buy fruits make fruit salad that you take so that it doesn't just fill your stomach and make you sleep and be snoring but just enough so hunger doesn't keep ringing on your head and sit with the word and say lord i am ready to take responsibility a lot of believers are still blaming the government blaming everybody they are chopping our money blaming everybody our parents are doing this they are doing this and that when you are ready to change your life will change many people are waiting for god god is waiting for us the anointing is for your reach the blessings of the lord is for your reach but you must take responsibility the issue is not just a job you need the word that's what will give you victory my son pay attention to my words incline your ears to my say do not let them depart from your eyes keep them in the midst of your heart says they are life to those who find them health to their flesh hallelujah go ahead and pray grace lord grace grace upon me to pray until something changes about my life grace to study the word the destiny of a generation is upon my shoulders. Grace to sow. To sow in the spirit. To travel. 